Hey everybody, it's Aaron with Mountain Biking Adventures and I'm in my garage today and I have the wheel with the failed hub. I'm going to take this all apart and see if we can't expose the exact failure point. I tried to get to that part before and as far as I got was just being able to get this little piece off right here and then it's got the bearings and everything inside. So today I might actually, since it's just totaled, I'm going to try to cut it and see what the actual failure point was because it wasn't the pulse springs. Just a little update video a lot of people wanted to see. So we'll go over here to my workbench and we'll get started. I don't know if you guys noticed that I just started cutting the spokes off. Those are fighting me too much and I don't need them anymore. And all the spoke nibbles were wasted anyway. So the hub is off. Now let's uh, get something and cut this in half. So let's start out with the Dremel, see if that cuts into this pretty quick. Hey, that worked pretty good. Let's see here. bearing still in there looks like I will still have to cut lengthwise this way and this way to find out the exact what's going on here friction was getting the uh, hub quite hot but that's we're through on one side and hopefully at least it's pretty close. I'm hoping I could pry it apart enough to... Oh, wow, that's still hot. But I don't know, maybe if I just score the other side, it might break in half for me. All right, cool. Just like I was hoping, it, uh, by scoring this other side enough, I'm able to just pry that open. So that's just the bearing being pressed in there. And this is just the housing. I might have to dive further into this. That just slides off too. Okay, so those are the end caps. This looks like a little spacer. We got the ratchet that sits in here. Ratchets. I believe this is pressed in here, machine pressed or threaded in somehow with a special tool. And I think this entire ring gave way and started slipping. We saw metal shavings when we first took this out. All right, it's cooled down. Let's go ahead and uh, see if I can't make a precision cut through here and score it on the other side and rip it open just like I did with this piece. And I'm just taking my flathead screwdriver and I'm twisting it inside there. And it's starting to open it up. All right, I think we're in business here. So it's opened up enough. Okay, cool. Let's take a little closer look here. These right here are the metal shavings we were seeing when we first just pulled this assembly out of here. There's another one right there. Oh man, it's still pretty hot. So that is the absolute reason this hub failed. The pulse springs were doing their job and they were engaging the gears on here and they weren't broken, but what was happening is when you put a lot of pressure, this entire piece would just pivot. Oh, it'd go this direction. It would just spin freely inside and it wouldn't twist the whole wheel. And that's basically all the parts. You got your two bearings, you got this 
piece right here that has the pulse springs that will engage into this. And this is machine factory threaded in there. And I would imagine you have to have a special tool. That's why it's not repairable because as soon as you start stripping those threads, you have to pretty much replace this whole piece right here no matter what. All right, this is nice and cool. I could go ahead and hold on to it, but that's a common thing if you got a really st like a strong steel or metal versus aluminum housing and one thread you know one thread's going to give away and the other one's not going to and that's all that was doing that's was just spinning inside there like that and the wheel wasn't going anywhere let me know if you guys like to see this type of stuff i could tear apart other other failed bike parts in the future this one is actually kind of interesting to me because I've never seen the actual internals of a hub. I just always dove into where the pulse springs are and just where the bearings, and that's about as far as I go. Like I said, I'm not much of a bike mechanic. I know enough to be dangerous. I thought this might shed some light on to what, what happened to me at, out at Byers Lake. And now my pedal doesn't work at all. I have no, no pedaling power at all. Anyway, the wise thing to do is turn around. So that's going to do it for today. I do appreciate you guys following along on all my rides and builds and teardowns, I guess. Be sure to make life an adventure. Go grab an old piece off your bike and tear it apart. Thank you very much.